Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to Hacknet. So, we are now working for the CSEC and yeah, let's log in and get a new contract. Let's let's get a new contract. Uh, remove a fabricated death row record. I think this is rather urgent, so let's do this. This is a cleanup job to remove some false information a hacker planted in the death row database. For reasons unknown, a false duplicated record has been added to the death row records, likely as some sort of identity theft or grieving plan. We would like uh, this false record removed. Yeah, I can fully understand this. So. Imposters on death row. This contract has added by has been added by an anonymous CSEC member, though it might may be possible to discern the sponsor's identity though through this contract. CSEC requests that, as always, you respect the privacy and anonymity of its members by not doing so. Contract the death row record for Joseph Fellman. 119080 is a clear duplication of Elva Curry's 999080 record, which is clearly the original. Delete the Joseph Fellman record from the database. Its presence there not only presents a risk to any and all real Joseph Fellman, to any and all real Joseph Fellman, uh, Fellman, 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 uh, but is also an insult to the original statement made by Mr. Curry. Correct this. Okay. Let's get the record details. I'm not sh not quite sure about this one. I mean, who says that Elva Curry is really the original? I mean, really? Is, is this true? Or am I, am, am, are we doing something... something... Ooh, death row. Executed or friend us listing. This database exists to preserve and curate details of the executed offenders on death row, including, but not limited to, their final statements and offense details. Gender and racial statistics of death row offenders. White, 81, black, Hispanic, other, total. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see, how is this guy called? The one was curry, 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 curry. Where's curry? Curry, Elva. H. Okay. Incident report, nothing. And the other one is Fellman. Joseph. Okay, that's the same entry, but... How do we know that this one is, is the false one, the other one is the, the right one? This is rather confusing, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what we can find out. Firewall detected. All right, let's see. Oh no. Okay. Can I? Can I already? Yag. Ash. Can't can't really clearly made it out. A H S U S S M U N Y A. Okay, let's let's just solve this. A H uh, S U U U U N Y A G. All right, okay, let's do the web, ser web, web server thing. 80, the FTP 21, and the SQL on 1433. Oh dear, this is it's going to be tight. All right, free up some memory. Let's get the port hack ready. Delete record Joseph Fellman. Locked and scan, scan, and um, let's go here. Death row database. Wait, are there other logs? No, there are not other logs. Okay, server details, records. So it's remove 
fell 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 man joseph all right let's remove this one and let's go to the locks and remove everything here that let's remove everything here and get ready to disconnect all right Let's see. I think I think everything should be done, right? Contract successful. Usum. Congratulations. The client of your okay. I my current rank is seventy of one hundred. Very nice. I guess I guess I have to continue accepting some contracts. So let's just do this. So log in. Contract listing. Track an encrypted file. Check out suspicious but clean academic record. At this one, no, no. Decrypt a secure transmission. I like to, to track an encrypted or decrypt a secret transmission. This sounds awesome. A secret file was sent to CSEC member who has no means of decrypting it. They have need the need. They they have the needed passwords for the job. Oh, this is good. Two ships in the night. Hey, a friend sent over some details of a job we are on, but threw it under encryption, and I just don't have a means of getting it open. It's up on the crosswords as. C E X E contract D E C. Can you decrypt it and upload it to the drop server? The password should be Kinnock. Uh, contract details. Uh, Kinnock could be interesting, so let's let's just see it. Decrypt it. Well, add note. Uh, type I need Kinnock. All right. Sure, can do this. Uh, where's the crossroads thing? Where's this crossroads thing? Um, crossroads here. Okay, let's view file system. Home, I need the C... This one. Okay, let's get the C underscore thing. Seems to be large, all right. We did it. Now let's go to the home folder. The cipher. CXC and it's Kinnock. Alright, working. Q. Cool. That's easy. This is this is a very easy un contract. I like this. Okay. It's a text file, that's interesting. Let's let's read this text file. The contact uses an, a Gmail account on a DLoggy. I know we've been after this for a long time, but don't get hasty. Just because this is a solid lead, we take it slow. More updates when I've got a plan for it. Well, if, I'm not quite sure if you can get anything out of this, but okay. Let's just uh, upload a file from home underscore text and let's reply to that email I think I think this should be all right contract successful nice uh, 60 of 100 cool let's go back to CZC a login contract listings uh, help an aspiring writer project Junmuck New, investigate a CSEC member disappearance. Ooh. Uh, I'd like to track an encrypted file first. We think we've located a way to track down where DEC encrypted files were encoded. We have a password locked file and want it opened. There should be enough leads for you to go on. All right, should be easy. Especially as I do have this. Uh, Joseph Scott's battle station? Oh dear. Apparently, DEC encrypted files store the IP they were encoded at with some miscellaneous messages in the encoded headers, presu presumably for debug purposes or something, but to us it looks like a wide open security vulnerability. Which is great, because we have something we need decoded, and we have no idea what the password for it is. So first step, find a way to read these headers. We had a bit of a dig around and found out that one of the DEC solutions employees might have a way to decode headers without knowing the password for a file. 
Go take a look around on his end and reply if you find anything useful. We have more for you after that. All right, let's do this. Joseph Scott's battle station. So what 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 can you do for us, Joseph Scott? Um, let's start with the web server. Worm port 80, SSH point 22, and maybe the FTP bounds on 21. So we have all things running at the same time. We can prepare the port hack. Very nice. And scan the thing. Yes, okay. Scan complete. So, view file system. New folder, IRC logs. Okay. We already read this one with the temperature. Um, yeah, I, I, I decided to not read IRC logs. 67% of guys are stupid. I belong with the other 13. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Great example. Great example, my friend. Um, analyze. This is seriously getting out of hand. First, the problem was actually being able to break the encryption without the property tool. Now this, reading the headers, is still a big problem. There's the encode source IP in there, which, yeah, is still a huge security concern. Uh, thanks very much. I don't care how much easier it makes you debugging sessions and client relationships. Well, here's some more working proof that we've got a problem. I'll let the dust settle on the first bombshell, then throw this into the ring. Two at once, might get me friend. Best hold on to this till things calm down a bit. Oh, DEC, head EXE, why do you cause me so many problems? I guess it's more just outsourcing in general. All right. Whatever. Let's just get there. File. Alright, thank you very much for your file. I can now remove everything. Uh, but I think I missed something. Um, the first find a way to read these headers. Take a look and reply if you find anything useful. Okay, I, I found something useful. So let's send this one. Heat got something good. All right, the file we are looking at it up on the gro what? The file we are looking at it up on the uh, crossroads. CCC and code one. We renamed it so people wouldn't go messing with it. Okay, the original was named firmware specs. Interesting. Um, anyway, read the headers of that. Find out where it was encoded and go track that password down. Reply to this with the password in the email and we'll take care of the rest. Very nice. So where's our crossroads server once again? Can I... Would be It would be super cool if I could somehow highlight a few few servers because I'm all the time searching again for the, for the uh, crossroads server. That's not fun at all. Was it down here somewhere? Where, where is this, this? Ah, here it is. Okay, view file system. Shoot, I forgot the name. Uh, CCC encode, okay. Looks, no, I want to go home. Okay, let's uh, download the CSEC, this one, and disconnect from the server again, and we have the DEC head, Wait, let's, let's go to the home folder first, DEC head, and it's CSEC, this one. Headers, source IP, there we go. Okay, connect to 
Very right, nice. Let's see what we find here. Uh, three ports to crack. FTP bounce 21. Oh no. Epsilon Burver 80 and SSQL 1433. Okay, we don't have enough memory. That's a shame. Come on. All right, here we go. Protec. Unlocked. So we are in and we can scan the thing. Nice. Okay, let's let's view the file system. Home, new folder, IRC log. Very nice. Whatever. Creature of writing assignment two. Ooh, so much text. Uh, yeah, if you if you're interested in this, you can all the time pause the video and read all the the text. But th this is a lot. This is really a lot. Uh, log files, binary system, work logs, um, lemon stealing. Okay. Uh, debug, non-release. Let's see, what do we have here? Firmware specs, password, beep, beep. Okay, the password is a beep, beep. Very nice. Look, let's remove everything again. And, um, Apply additional details. Beep, beep. Contract successful. Nice. All right. I'm 50 of 100. I am curious. I'm really curious. Let's disconnect from the mail server. Um, I do have this. The CSEC. I, I, I like to know what's what's behind, what's inside this file. So let's just do this. Decipher CSEC and coach beep beep. So let's find out. Let's find out what they have encrypted there. Very curious about it. All right. So, what are the... It's a PDF. Firmware Driver Development Guide for the development of drivers and firmware for use in embedded systems running in the WinC operating system. Thousands of devices use this US, from cars to media players. Keep in mind the variety of devices. Your code may be deployed into when developing your drivers and or firmware. Okay, very interesting. So, cool. Nice to know. But... Nothing really, really important, I would say. So, contract listing. Um, help an aspiring writer. Huh, because of this, this writing thing? Let, let, let's see. An aspiring wants us to get one of his scripts to a producer. Okay. Let's, let's do this. A convincing application. A writer wants to get a draft of their latest work to a producer and has had some trouble getting past secretaries and the like. He wants us to break in and drop his work in the target scripts to a review folder so his he gets a look his gets looked at. Ah. His script screenplay has been uploaded to the crossroads. He also provided an encrypted script that his was that his was to compete with, that we can use to trace. This is also on the crossroads. T2 screenplay. Upload this his script to the scripts folder of the target machine. As always, remember to tap complete upon upload bin? Why bin? And press why why should do I need to do this? Okay, I need a screenplay and screenplay. Crossroads was here, view file system. So let's get T2 screenplay and let's get FOF screenplay. Okay, can I? 
Can I take a look at what he wrote as a screenplay? Yes. Open scene, gentle piano music plays in the background. We are looking at the clock on the dash of a golf buggy. It's 722. Okay, 722. Whatever. Um, now let's see what the... Okay, we have a new IP. 37.187.27.55 Jason's Legbook Pro. <laughs> okay, a Legbook. Very nice. Uh, firewall detected and two ports to crack. Fantastic. Just fabulous. D. DG. D. I, I can't really get in here. Danger. Aha! I'm good. I'm very good. I'm smart. I'm super smart or something like this. Okay, and uh, let's do the FTP thing. Prepare our port hack. And done. Scan just in case. Scan complete. All right. View file system. Home. New folder. And C log. All right. Scripts. Danger text. Danger text. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let's let's upload. Home, uh, F thing. Let's upload this one here. Very nice. And let's remove all of our traces as usual. And disconnect again. Cool. All right. So, are you are you happy? Are you happy with what I did? Yes. Contact successful. Awesome. Forty of one hundred. Nice. Okay, let's that's maybe the last contract for today. Contract listing. Um, investigate a CEC member's disappearance. Bit, a well-regarded member of CSEC and a personal friend of many people he had dropped off grid over two weeks ago and hasn't made contact with anyone. While numerous private investigations are no doubt underway, I'd like to make this an official CSEC posting for everyone, anyone that wants to help. We are looking for any information we can get regarding his disappearance or ideally current state. All right, let's do this. Um, hey, this will be a less formal email and I'm going to sign it with my handle. No need for anonymity here. We are looking out for a friend. So, bit went dark a little over two weeks ago, which is pretty unusual. I mean, going dark for a bit is fine, but not contacting anyone here. Two weeks, something's up. I've thrown in a few links to some server he owns, uses, so maybe dig around there. If you find anything, throw it up on the CSEC drop server and I'll check it out first. And I'll check it out. Bitwise test PC, Bitwise relay, CC public drop server. Okay, this one is apparently a new one. Let's let's check the relay one. Okay, four ports to crack. Let's start with the web server worm and uh, maybe the SQL 1433. Get the FTP bounds ready. And we need the SSH thing. So what happened? What happened to Bit? What happened to our very good friend Bit, who started this this entire thing in the first place? All right, scan. We found nothing. View file system. Home. See, look. Oh dear, a lot of a lot of text. 
So if you're interested in this, just stop the video and then read it because I won't do it anymore. If you're reading this, you've run into and then broken into one of my relay servers. If you're looking to get in contact with me for some reason, throw a file up on my drop server. I check it occasionally. All right. So let's connect to 108 point. Well, before I do this, let's just let's just clean. That's us, I guess. Yeah, that's us. But yeah, let's let's place clean all of our traces. Connect now. Connect to one eight point one six zero point one six five one three nine. Upload a Dropbox. I think we don't want to upload something. Proxy detect firewall detected. Five pots of crack. Okay, let's. Let's do this. Uh, we need Gauntlet um, Anderson's bedroom. Okay, let's use this one. And let's throw iPhone PowerBook Plus. Let's use this one maybe. Let's use the battle station and try this thing again. Oh no. Let's analyze it. Okay, can I can I get something from this? I don't see capitalized letters. Is it bitwise? Okay, B. So B R E P Z E R. Okay. SQL one four three three S S H two two. Let's close all of those things to free up some memory. And then we need the FTP bounds twenty one. And the webworm on port 80. Finally, we need the ST SMTP overflow on port 25. All right. See if we can find something using our scan tool. Once we have access to the thing, okay, scan complete. We found nothing. Uh, view file system, home, new folder, IRC log. Okay, uh, log files, nothing important here. Uh, binary, nothing. Okay, let's look into drop. Server message, you are authenticated. Upload, okay. Uploads, test upload. Where are you? Test upload, test file, please ignore, okay? Okay, some spider was running over the keyboard. File sanitizer. Okay, I'm not quite sure what a file sanitizer is doing, but nice. Hey man, you never replied. What? Okay, read all hackers. This has been last time I checked the server, but apparently someone's been messing with it. Bad timing for me, but oh well. I've been working with NTech on some pretty heavy projects and things aren't looking so great. As in, I don't think they want me around anymore or saying this sort of thing not great. I don't know, maybe I'm just freaking out about it. I'm going to dig around a bit, see if there's any danger here. Sure, feels like this. Okay, bit one. So, Entek. So, a message. Let's maybe just get the file sanitizer. Maybe I can compile it or so at some point. Would be interesting. Okay, system, binaries, log files, nothing. Okay, let's remove everything. Uh, 
then we can uh, disconnect from the server. Okay, let's see. Is reply add additional information and tech is this what what you were looking for mission complete okay that's that's not what you were looking for huh okay by the way are you Find some throws on the drop server. I check it out. So so do I need to wait? Let, let's go to the bitwise drop server. What I need to hack it again? Why? Haven't I Do I really need to do everything again? Firewall detect why? I, I why am I no longer administrator of this? Okay, I think I think we will um, continue with this in the in the next episode for some weird reasons, because uh, yeah we are running a little bit out of time. But um, yeah, stay tuned. Next time we will continue with this. In this case, I hope you have enjoyed this very episode and hope you will be joining me. Sorry for this cliffhanger, but I'm not quite sure how this will continue. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you.